Yo, what's going on my ninjas? My name is Sensei Carlos and welcome back to another ninja vlog. Today, we're gonna be using these monkey fist lanyards. So what you're gonna need for today's video is a couple different things, so listen up. One, you're gonna need your self-defense lanyard. Whatever you guys have, whatever the length is, it's gonna work. This is my personal design that I like to use, which is a little bit longer. I tie certain knots on the end right here, and this is actually a two inch bearing. We're gonna go ahead and need a target, something that we can hit. I'm in the dojo, so I have some targets that are over there that I'm gonna use. If you guys don't have something like that, if you have an old tire or something that you can hit with out destroying we're gonna need something like that I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually swing this monkey fist the proper way because there's a few things that people don't understand when doing this I've been using these making these and teaching how to use these for over 10 years already and I've learned a lot of things over the over the years and a lot of do's and a lot of don'ts I'm gonna give you guys my top five things that you need to know to be able to swing a monkey fist bearing around without hurting yourself you guys and girls let's go Let's jump into this. Hope you guys have some fun. Let's get it. So we're gonna start with our first five. Let me show you them quickly. The first is a diagonal swing, swinging from the 130 direction. Number two is another diagonal swing, but swinging from the 1030 direction. Number three is a side to side from three o'clock. Number four is exactly the same, but from side to side from nine o'clock. And number five, the baseball throw. You're gonna put it in your hand and you're gonna just throw straight forward. Let's get started with number one, the diagonal swing. When doing this diagonal swing, you wanna make sure that you follow through, take a step and control the weight of the bearing. What I don't want you guys to do is start catching and doing different things, find that control. Similar to what we're gonna do here on number two, the diagonal swing, a backhanded one, you're gonna do the same thing step and follow through and control the weight of the bearing if you can't throw the weight of the bearing and control it on that swing it's not gonna work even more so on number three from side to side when you throw you want to make sure that you are controlling that bearing as it comes to the side one mistake that people make when doing this is they do not control it they stop it with the force of their hand moving forward and that bearing comes into your ribs or worse your back and your spine so one thing you can do is catch. Now to catch, I want you guys to do after you've learned the weight. You just kind of create like a little C with your hand, guide that string, that lanyard all the way down into the bearing. When you do it, it looks something like this and you're able to follow and catch it. Now I recommend that, like I said, when we're doing these side to sides, now doing nine o'clock, the three o'clock is really the one that's gonna be the simplest to do the catch. That is why I don't want you guys to focus on the catch and instead like this one, focus on following through. Now that was a nice quick one. And now to number five, the baseball throw, my favorite. This one I feel is the most effective and the easiest to control if you understand that weight balance. So you wanna make sure that you pinch that edge where the keys are, throw that bearing in between your thumb and your index finger and then from there, you're just gonna practice literally a baseball throw. Throwing over your shoulder, step left, pivot with your right, and throw. When you do the throw, it looks something like this. And each time, just like those first four, we want to throw to the side and control the weight of the bearing. Get very comfortable throwing, pulling back into the hand, catching with one hand, and going to both sides. You wanna go down to the left and down to the right. So as you throw, throw straight and down at that 45 degree angle both sides throw down to the left side of your hip catch that bearing throw straight forward and down to the opposite corner and to the right side of your body as you guys do this find that weight control it is all about that coordination and weight control that is how we're going to be the most successful at any of these throws now let's get into some target practice number one rule to pay attention to is the rebound now when you hit something what we don't always pay attention to is the recoil of what's going to happen so as you strike you're not going to follow through like you would on the practice rounds you're actually going to hit and it's going to come back the opposite direction this is why when you guys practice i really want you guys to understand that recoil control and the weight control of that bearing it is the most important thing once you get good at that you can start swinging side to side and you should never touch your body at all 
you come up and over the head, you wind up, you hit that target, boom, and you find that control. As you go to swing in different variations of what you can do, sky's the limit. It's always about controlling that bearing. Now, doing the baseball throw, here's a very important thing. As that bearing goes straight, it's going to recoil back towards you. So you wanna pull down to the side if you hit straight on and you wanna pull down to the other side. Now here's the biggest thing to pay attention to. The number one, don't do this. As you throw it and that bearing goes straight into the target, most people are gonna to want to pull that bearing straight to you and it's gonna hit you square between the eye, boom. And that's gonna knock you out. Trust me, I've done it before. And this is why I said, over the years, I have learned the pros and the cons, the do's and the don'ts. Notice how as soon as I hit, I go directly to the sides. I'm not letting that come back towards me ever or at all. Now, when you guys are doing this, practice, have some fun, but please be safe. And to reiterate, we have our five, the diagonal swing, number two, diagonal swing, three and four are the same thing, they're side to side, but one's from three o'clock and the other is from nine o'clock and my personal favorite, the baseball throw. You guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Peace out, my ninjas. We'll see you next week. Oh.